Hey guys, is your workshop a mess? Your workbench got your tools all over it? Well, you gotta learn how to do French cleats. So I did them a little bit ago, right behind me here. I'm gonna give you the ins and outs, how to do it. Super easy to do. And then you can tell me all about yours down in the comments. Let's go. All right, so I said it's pretty easy to do. All you gotta do, you wanna get some plywood, rip some long, uh, probably about six inch wide sheets. Then what you're gonna do, take those and cut, rip those again at a 45 degree angle. So it's hard to see, but there's a 45 degree angle here. Next thing you wanna do, put them up, and then start making some boxes or some holders for your tools. So you want this to have a 45 on it. it sits right up there. Here's another. This is one I made for a small circular saw. Because they have that 45 in there, They're gonna stay on there. They're not gonna come off. Next, get all these tools and things. Start placing them in your custom boxes that you made. So whatever kind of tools you have, make something out of your scrap wood to hold them on this French cleat system and you're set. I only have this one section now. I used to have it go across the other side, but meh, this is all I need right now. So anyway, if you've made it before, put something down in the comments. If you haven't put something down in the comments, this is a new channel, so give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, it doesn't matter, whichever you think. Nice short video. All the videos on this channel are gonna be no BS, straight to the point. Uh, I'd show you how to make these, but I imagine just from me telling you, rip some boards, make some 45s, you probably get the picture. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Look for some more coming up. We'll see you next time.